Hey, what's up guys? This is Trista Sci-Fi Gamer, and it's time for more Weekly Forge news. Like always, I get my information from Tom French, the lead Halo 5 Forge designer. If you have any questions you would like to ask Tom, go over to his Twitter at PardonTomFrench, link in the description. With that said, let's get started. So have you ever wondered why there's no full alphabet in the detail section? No, you haven't wondered at all? Well, oh well, you're going to figure it out right now. A user asked Tom, any chance we could get the entire alphabet in the detail section? And Tom said, I've been thinking about that. We didn't do that at launch because it would be easy to spell offensive stuff, but you still can. Come on, Tom, you really think that we'll spell offensive things? Come on, we wouldn't do that, right, guys? Oh, who the hell am I kidding? It's the internet we're talking about here. But in all seriousness, we didn't get a yes or no if the details would come, but at this point, I think they'll get added in at some point. Next up, a user asked, any chance we could get invisible blockers that also block grenades and projectiles? And Tom said, I was trying to get some working but ran into some issues. I'll get them in some future update. So that's some good news for people that have a map that needs true invisible blockers. And last up is actual road pieces. A user asked, would actual road pieces be possible? We need road hills, corners, pretty much assets that make roads easier to build. And Tom stated, yeah, we've had a set of those on the list for a while. I'm hoping to get them out to outsourcing soon so we can get them built. So it looks like we will be getting actual roads in the near future, which is really awesome because it takes a load off the budget for maps and also makes life a lot easier. Before this episode comes to a close, it's time to display the winner of this week's Halo fan art. This week's winner goes out to Taya Albertson, who did a fantastic drawing of Master Chief and a Helljumper. This week I had really good submissions and it was really hard to tell who would get the win, but what put this drawing on top of the other submissions is the shading. The shading here is fantastic. Great job, Taya. If you have any art that you want to see featured on the channel, send it into scifigamerYT at gmail.com. Who knows, you may see your art featured here, and if you didn't win this week, don't worry, you may win next week. Anyways guys, that concludes this episode of Halo 5 Forge News. Be sure to leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, Facebook and Twitter links will be in the description. Also be sure to subscribe and tell your friends as well. Have a great day or night wherever you are, remember keep on gaming, see you all next time.